Welcome back, everybody. This is Movies and Beyond. I'm Callum. That's Kyle. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Thanks, Kyle. How are you? No, nope, right. He's gone back to. <laughs> he's gone back to Fucktown. Nice. Just how we like it. Uh, I actually, I actually fell off that chair one time. I was, I was, um, I was in a FaceTime call, and I thought it'd be funny as like to do that, you know, going back thing. You know, yes. remember that PewDiePie meme? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't do it. Yeah, disaster. Like a... Disaster, mate. I literally just fell on the floor. Like I fell back, and it, the whole chair was upside down. Fucking crazy, man. Hell yeah, it's like a Bon Jovi just concert. Like this film. Ah, oh, I was trying to do a segue into this. But I was fuck doing a Spider-Man reference. <clears throat> no one cares. Yes, they do. You're right, I do. Yeah, I, I knew you'd care. Right, anyway, Fall Guy. Reviews are coming out now. It's looking pretty good. It's certified the fresh on the Rotten Tomatoes. We're looking at an 86% with over 100 reviews, so that's pretty good. Um, we are seeing this tomorrow, and we will review it because we've been seeing films and we just haven't been fucking reviewing them. <laughs> Well, we, yeah. we saw Monkey Man. I love that. Boy Kills yeah. World. That were great. Uh, I, Civil I, War. Sure. I think I think I love that just a little bit more than Monkey Man. I, I think I think, I think I, we're I, the I, opposite. I prefer no. I prefer Boy Kills World to Monkey Man. Oh, okay. Yeah. I I, I thought you preferred Monkey Man to be honest, but yeah, no, we're well, in the same boat then. Great. Um, just but a lot of great action flicks coming out. Yeah, but no Friday we will do a Fall Guy review. I promise that we'll do a Fall Guy review on Friday. Or the Fall Guy. I'm not promising anything. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Mate, I'll come down to yours and I'll choke a review out of you. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, seeing all positive reception now, it's kind of the same stuff we was hearing coming out of CinemaCon when people saw it. Oh, he's gone again. No, he's here. Uh, <laughs> you know, where is your excitement level for this film now? Considering it comes out tomorrow for us uh, anyway. i mean it was kind of to be expected i i was obviously you know bullet train doesn't have like the best reviews or whatever but i really like it so it's nice to see this film get good reviews you know from the director uh david lynch uh leech i like fanta yeah so it is good to see the good reception it's getting um I just, uh, the one thing I'm kind of like, it's just that joke, you know, the the Taylor Swift one, I'm just like, oh, please don't have these mediocre things in the film, because it, the film doesn't need it, to be honest, these little stupid jokes. I know it's only one joke, but it was just like, it killed the whole mood for me in the trailer, even though it was at the end. Yeah. Oh, technical issue again. No, you're there, it's fine. When it does that, you're there. You're yeah, fine. I don't know why that's doing that. I think I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gone again. No, you're there. You're there. I think it's. I think it's my monitor. It's not registering um, my inputs correctly, which is a bit odd. Have you got your uh, dick sucking robot on? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's proper going for it. Well, yeah, I, I'm. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, obviously, we're seeing it tomorrow. And yeah, I. I've, yeah, uh, I, I, I I don't know I don't know if this will be better than Boy Kills World because I really really enjoyed that film so um I I just can't wait to see how it stacks you know with all these crazy action flicks that are coming out at the moment so yeah, I got a feel I, this is gonna be fun you know uh Bullet Train my favorite film of twenty two I love that film I love David Leach as a director he hasn't. I don't think he's made anything I've disliked yet. I'm just trying to think. Deadpool 2, I like just as much as Deadpool 1. Uh, Co-directed the first John Wick. Everyone loves that. Hobbs and Shaw is the only Fast and Furious film I've liked in a long time. I actually really liked that. Uh, Bullet Train, great. I'm trying to think what else has he done in between that. Did he do that? He did that... He did Atomic Blonde as well, didn't he? He went off and did Atomic Blonde. I'm pretty sure. I didn't see that. With Charlie's Theron. I could be getting that mm. wrong. 
I could be getting that wrong. I don't know. But David Leach is great. Ryan Gosling, he's on such a... Still, you know, he's always been a star. This, What I'm saying is, but he's still riding that high of last year of Barbie. Mm. Everyone loves this man. And I think he's going to be great in this film. Emily Blunt. Everyone loves Emily Blunt. She's funny. She was great in Oppenheimer. And I she's think, great in, obviously, A Quiet Place as well. Yeah, I think, um, and I think yeah, these two She's not the main character in the second uh, film of that, but she's still, like, a standout. Um, and, 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 you know, you look at Emily Blunt, it's like, oh... Is she, you know, is she good at sort of being in these action flicks? And it's like, yeah, she is. Look at Edge of Tomorrow, uh, Looper. Um, you know, she's she's got quite an extensive, you know, portfolio, shall we say, yeah, when yeah. it comes to sort of different genres in movies. So, yeah. That would be the word to use, portfolio. Right, anyway, let's get on to the next topic. Oh, it's cable. It's cable in time. Uh, mm-hmm. I want, I want a cable. Uh, Josh Brolin is. I, I was going to say he's a little bit upset. I think that'd be a, the wrong way to put it. But he's done an interview. Um, I believe it's because Outer Range season two is coming out pretty soon. Have you seen the first season? No. Oh, good. Very good. Um, you know he's talking about. He really wanted to be in Deadpool 3. He said, he knows Ryan. He really wants to work with you. He likes Cable as a character. He really wanted to revisit it. And you know, he, he does know what he's talking about as well because he says now that it's involved with the MCU, he'd want to see how that works. So it's not like, you know, some actors who just think, Marvel, Marvel, and can't differentiate it. I suppose this guy had to get a first-hand lesson in it, though, because he played... Thanos and Cable in the same year in Marvel projects, so he probably had to get a little bit of an education on that anyway. Um, but yeah, do you think he's lying to us, or do you think he's not actually in it? I'm gonna say, um, I mean, he both played. He, he played like a sort of anti-hero, didn't he? I mean, in in some regard, you know, because Thanos thought he was the hero of the flick, and it was his film, and obviously Deadpool two is as much as it is Deadpool's. I think it, a big chunk of it is Cable's as well. It's you, you sort of follow his arc and you see why he's doing what he does, obviously. Um, we won't get into that, but I I think maybe, maybe. I mean, it just seems like a... They're doing reshoots right now. Yeah, because obviously with... <sighs> I, I think he's probably going to have like some form of cameo, maybe. Uh, it, it's not one of those things where it's like he's constantly being asked, oh, are you in this film? Are you in this film? Kind of like, say, like, you know, Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a little bit to be expected that he'd be in this film. And and who knows, if he isn't, okay, maybe they didn't have a you know enough space for him, you know, because there was a lot going on in this film. Um, but... I think he he potentially could be. Yeah. I I would like him to be, but yeah, no. If it's done right, and that's it. As... I mean, shit. We we might even get Josh Brolin come back as as Thanos, like a variant of Thanos. Like that's really yeah. not. You know, it's not impossible with <laughs> a film it? like this. It's like he said, zip it, Thanos to Cable. Zip yeah. it, Cable to Thanos. <laughs> would, be perfect, yeah. would be pretty yeah. funny. Would be pretty funny. Yeah, no. Bringing it full circle. Oh, yeah, I think that's probably the best way they can do it. It's because you know he's getting asked. He's coming back as cable. He's coming back as cable when he does. You know, probably yeah. get asked. It's like, no, I'm not coming back as cable. But but then comes back as Thanos. You know, but he has. He's talked about coming back as Thanos as well. He's talked that he's heard things. And uh, now okay. that these universes are merging, he's gonna have two roles because you can't not have him as cable. Yeah, it's. I think that should be one of the things that carries over into that universe. You know what I mean? Josh Brolin's yeah, cable it, works. I think everyone will be fine with it, yeah. And it's... Look, I'm not going to do it, but what I was going to go do is going to grab a Thanos hot tie and a cable hot tie, put them together and go, that is not the same person. 
but it is, but it's not. Yeah. But yeah, but then again, the trade-off is, you know, I want this film to be about Deadpool and Wolverine. That's what I want this film to be about. Would putting Cable in it make it better? I don't know, because we haven't seen the film. You would have yeah. thought with the post credit scene of Deadpool 2 that actually he probably pays, might play a, a little bit of an integral part to the film, but... Well, well, maybe he's been pruned, maybe Cable's been pruned or something like that, because he's the... He's the first one to really go into time travel. But then you'd uh, then you'd think, well, is he going to be in the void? Because we know where that's a majority of the film's going to take place. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's 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 the X Men universe. It still holds on to that, right? The timelines are fucked. It doesn't really matter, kind yeah. of thing. So, listen, I I don't know. Um, I hope Josh Brolin is in this film in some way. I'd be happy to just have Josh Brolin come back as Josh Brolin. I want to see Cable fight Thanos in Secret Wars. Just not not like a big scene, not like making a big deal of it. But, you know, let's say, yeah. look, here's every Marvel character. Here's every villain we've had. And you know where it just like does like quick pans through fucking Battlefield? I would love a variant of Thanos, just a quick shot of like... Cable with his gun, putting that sonic blast thing on that he used against Juggernaut, against Thanos. That'd be fucking sick. I'd love that. Yeah. I I, um, I can imagine that there's some sort of like joke that Deadpool can make. It's like it's like Alien versus Predator. Um, except it's big guy versus big guy. <laughs> I, or I something like that. I don't, I don't know, know where you're going with that angle, but uh... no, I'm just saying like because they're, they're pretty. You know, he's, he yeah. plays as these characters who are pretty tough so uh, i'm just saying yeah but it'd be like if it, you challenged a catholic priest it would be predator versus predator yeah anyhow i would love to see josh bullard in this film in some shape or form you know whether it be Thanos, where he whether it be he comes back as cable or just as himself i i really i don't care it'd i think it'll be funny if he had, it'd a, be funny if, he had a post credit well, scene undoing all of Deadpool's undoings from Deadpool 2. So, like, yeah. just brutally killing Vanessa. Sticking, yeah, sticking think... Paul in... What is it? Peter. Sticking Peter in the wood chipper and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, there's so much possibilities. Look, I trust in Ryan Reynolds and I trust in everyone behind this film. Yeah. They, it... they will do the right thing. And if there's no room for Cable, there's no room for Cable. Yeah. I do think we will see Cable again, though. Absolutely, point. yeah. We've got to. But yeah, no. Sticking on the topic of, you know, orgasms. Uh, <clears throat> there's going to be a special trailer for Deadpool and Wolver- Wolverine released into IMAX exclusively. Now, they say it's going to contain more footage. More footage of what? Um, I'm just going to ask you, before I jump into my theory about what it actually is, um, I know you've said you don't want to see any more Deadpool and Wolverine footage. Is this something to, you know, because we go IMAX as much as we can. We see everything in IMAX. Is this something that might actually keep you out of the theatre now, before it's like going just as the film starts? No, I feel like this will be the, uh, it'll just be an extended version of the trailer where it will you know like say that the helmet when it rises up i feel like oh there'll be like an extra couple of seconds talking to one of the other characters or you know maybe the the bar scene is a little bit more extended or something like that i I don't know i don't think it'll be a whole new trailer i just think it'll have some like it'll be an extended trailer and i i think once it's out in imax it will release a couple, you know, days or even a week later or something like that. I well, don't. It's not something that I think is going to be like. It's. It will be something that bothers me. Do you know what I think it's going to be? Mm. You know the uh, thing they showed at CinemaCon mm-hmm. for people in the theaters turning yeah. phones off. Yeah, I think they might play that at the beginning of the trailer. Maybe. Um, I thought that too, but, you know, 
M- maybe. And they have said as well in past, it's like the, they're thinking about rolling that out to theatres, but a bleeped yeah. version of it. Uh, yeah, I mean they do they, they do all the time with with big movie trailers, especially Marvel, especially Deadpool. You know they change things all the time, yeah. so and maybe you... maybe they will, and maybe things will be changed, and it won't spoil all. So I'm I'm not worried in that regard. So It'd be so much better as well than that annoying guy going hello, <laughs> scared you. <laughs> right? Oh guys. no, he's 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 probably still definitely doing that. This is distraction free entertainment, <laughs> <laughs> which. He always, he always does that little... Wah! Yeah, which annoys me because it's like, don't bother fucking playing that because nobody listens to you anyway. Every fucking cunt is sat in there. On, do you know what? We're going to rant about people on the fucking phones in the cinema for a second because that is one thing I fucking despise. Yeah. Just, yeah, no, just go... turn your phone off or, or at the very least, have it on silent, have it... On the lowest, dimmest brightness that you possibly can. No, I'm not. No, you know? no, fuck that. Off, off. Yeah, but I'm just saying, if people, nah, need, you know, nah, for emergencies, mate. If your life, you've got that many emergencies going on in your life, mate. You shouldn't be sitting down in a theater. I, I don't know. But yeah, if it, grandma's it goes, on it, death's door, mate, don't go see Deadpool and Wolverine. She probably needs you more than fucking Ryan Reynolds. No. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? <clears throat> but yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. No, if you if you go into the cinema uh, and don't talk as well, we can hear you. It, it's you know you think you're being quiet. You you're not. Yeah, it doesn't we... matter how quiet you you whisper and chat away or whatever. We've actually mastered the art of communicating with our eyes when we're in the mm. cinema. Like, if something cool up, we'll, like, look at each other, or if something like we'll just do the whole. Yeah, I, I, I did notice recently when we went to go see uh, Boy Kills World, you know, you were, you were drinking your milkshake and you kept sort of <laughs> making a very high-pitched noise. I don't know how you were doing it with the straw. I was like, you fucking cunt. In the um, adverts. In the adverts. In the adverts, of course, yeah, yeah. Um, but even then, it's like... As soon as yeah, the mate, trailers... Don't even say what about Boy Kills World, because as soon as we sat down, you fucking ripped ass in a theatre with, like, five people in it. Nah, it, it, it will never. But, yeah, we went to go see Boy Kills World, and uh, towards the end of the film, it was, like, the, the very last act. Uh, last we 20 had 20 minutes or something? Something like that. We had uh, three lads come in, and, it, you know, it's like, what the fuck? You know, um... And they were just talking, and they were sticking the hand up in the projector. Really fucking annoying. So this is why we. This is one thing that I really like about IMAX as well. It. I feel like there's a bit of like a, an unspoken. Contract you you have an unspoken law. Yes, yeah, like you, you, it's only it's only the really extra. film fans who will pay the extra to go in, because yeah. someone else will see, normal ticket price and then the IMAX price, which is nearly double, and they'll go. Oh, fuck that, I'll see it ten minutes later in this different screen for less. Why would I pay that? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, uh, there is, you know, we're not talking about anyone really who goes to see it in IMAX because that's not where the issue stems from. It's literally just regular cinemas. At the end of the day, you've gone in and, you know, you're not the only one that has paid money to go see something in the cinema. You've paid for something and you you, you kind of... You're kind of ruining it for other people, so don't do it. Just don't be a dick. Just don't be a dick. Yeah. Please. I can't stand up and get your dick out then. <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, but I've been having a know. really good time to snap a keyboard. I've got some one around somewhere. I'll do it there. Um. What? I'm not going to snap a keyboard now. I didn't say I didn't say anything. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Right, next topic. He said, Callum, you handsome bastard. Are you sure you want the next topic? I do. I'm quite excited for it. Oh, we got movies coming in May. We've got um, more monkey movies. Because in March we had Godzilla and Kong. In April, we had Monkey Man. 
in May, we've got Apes. So more monkey movies. Hell yeah. We've got Fall Guy coming tomorrow. We've got Furiosa coming. We've got Garfield coming. Um, Quite a stacked month. This actually reminds me of March of last year when we had Creed, Shazam, John Wick, and there was something else, and I always forget about it, but we had a film every uh, week in March. Um, Yeah, just a... Who do you think's winning May? Box office wise, critic wise, however you want to talk about it, who do you think's winning? Um, as much as I love Mad Max and I love the world and and I'm very excited for Furiosa, I think it's going to be the the weakest when it comes to the box office. I think Furiosa looks good, but I think Furiosa's flopping hard. Yeah, and I, that is a shame because it is going to set the Mad Max sequel back and up. Mate, I'm going to be 35 when that comes out. I was yeah. 15 when Fury Road came out. Yeah, it's quite it's quite crazy to think about. Uh, if you haven't seen Mad Max Fury Road, by the way, uh, go watch it. It's amazing. I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix in the UK. It's an amazing action flick. Go watch it. Treat yourself. Um, and then, you know, go see Furiosa because it looks pretty fucking good. Um, that being said, you know, I think it will be a great film, Furiosa. I just think it will will not do too well at the box office. Yeah, do you know what? Critically, uh, out of all these, I think Furiosa might do the best. It, it, it does have the potential for that, yeah. It's, financially, it's got the longest to fall as well, though. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, fall Guy probably has the, the strongest when it comes to box office. I mean, it's Ryan Gosling. He's just come from being Ken over, and Barbie. Over Ips? You think Fall Guy? I think so. You Wow! I think so, yeah. This is coming from I, the, the Apes guy as well, like this... Apart from Deadpool and Wolverine, this is like your film this year. Yeah, there I'm really excited. I, I love the Planet of the Apes films, the the trilogy that they did. Obviously, Matt Reeves did uh, the second and third. Um, it's, like a I love all... it's like a near-perfect trilogy, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, no, it is. I think a lot of people kind of got upset with the third one because the film was called War, but it was a very slow movie. But, you know, I, I kind of agree with that in a sense, but I don't, you know, th- when I've sort of grown up a bit and I've, kind of understood what the film is trying to to portray it's just like holy shit like the title don't mean nothing like you know it's literally just it's such a beautifully sad movie um and the second one was a bit more actiony but you know it took it took the things from the first film which i you know the little tiny little things that they hinted at in the first movie um i don't want to say anything about this but you know i have some theories of of like what's happening in this film anyways um go, please please go watch it you know the planet of the apes trilogy is one of my all-time favorites i can go back and watch that at any one of those movies at any point um they're all fantastic andy circus's performance he absolutely killed it and it's such a shame that he didn't get any sort of reward for it obviously due to it being digital so you know yeah yeah th- it doesn't fall into that category, I guess. There isn't really a category for that. I truly believe in Dawn and War, he could have been nominated for Best Actor. Yeah. But people... the don't. I think it gets looked at a little bit differently now. I don't think anyone... Has anyone been nominated for a motion capture performance? Like, acting-wise? No, I don't think so. I think there's maybe one somewhere but yeah. i can't i can't think of it at the top of my head no um, can i yeah but yeah go treat yourself watch this trilogy you know it is great Which, and to be fair we should probably do a video like next week if it's a bit dry we should probably do a video on the planet of the apes trilogy yeah i'm, I'm fucking down for that i can talk about that all we'll day be but... see, we'll be seeing it on either the thursday or the friday yeah next week the, the... The the thing that scares me with with this uh, Planet of the Apes film is it's a different director. It's a very it's it's a you know it's a bigger jump than from the first to the second film. You know it's a whole new characters. Um, it's essentially a whole new cast. Um, it's continuing the the story of what we have in the trilogy. It's just I I'm I'm a little scared that this film could have some issues 
um, with regards to the story and critically wise. I, I hope it's not though. I hope it's it's up there and we have like you know it's like John Wick. We've got four great films. Yeah. Um, you know you can you can obviously stack them up as to which you think is the best, which is fine. You, everyone has their personal uh, favorites. Yeah. Exactly, but you know, if you looked at it as an entirety, it's you know, it's great. So, yeah, I think I think obviously I know yours is probably Fall Guy, most anticipated. For me, it's it's the, the trailers have just nailed it for me. No, for me, I've got to say the one I'm looking forward to the most is Furiosa. Furiosa. Yeah. But I said I said this to you when, uh, in the cinema the other day. When I was watching Civil War. I was like. Not the trailers haven't exactly been great for Furiosa. They've I been, think they've been okay. They've been I like good. Them. They've been good yeah. trailers, good solid trailers. But all my excitement for Furiosa comes based off the perfection that is Fury Road. Yeah, I think uh, I I didn't like the first trailer for Furiosa. I got to admit, I think it was the second trailer where I was like, "Oh, this is this is yeah. wow." And um, she, she, she's kind of won me around a bit with you know that. I want them back. And yeah, then, I want them back. To lead up to, yeah. uh, no, I want them back. I want them back, and she like crushes yeah. that car. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's oh, it, it looks so cool. And then uh, you know, obviously Chris Hemsworth, um, just his performance from you know the little bits we see in the trailer. It's like holy shit, this guy is, he's he's really sort of. Have you got it? You know to make it epic. I, I think one of the funniest things in the trailer, um, it plays in the IMAX one, but the IMAX in the IMAX cinemas when we see the trailer, it feels like a very cut up version of the trailer. Yes, but there's I, just yeah. There's, yeah, but there's just this one little thing where he's like counting down. He's like three, two, one, go. <laughs> um, I just think that's fucking great. But um, yeah, I think I think Fall Guys. I'm, I'm excited for all three of these yeah. movies, but Fall Guy is at the bottom. It, uh, you know, it's number three for me. Which it's number three for me as well, probably. But I'm super fucking excited for it. Yeah. So it's just like the excitement I've got for all these films is up there. I think we're gonna be eating good in May, as some would say. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. you know. I think you know two out of three of these movies. You know, Furiosa, Fall Guy will be critically. Uh, you know, done really well. The and one that I'm just, worried. Fingers crossed I, for. I'm just S. hoping to God that this film is good. Yeah. I hope that it's good as well. Well, I, you know, our motto here: we hope that every film is good. We, we because do. Because if yeah. every film is good, then we have got more good films it's to just, watch. For me personally, because I love the the original trilogy so much. Not the original originals. The you know the the ones they did recently, the reboot uh, trilogy. Should we say? Should we call um, it the Reeves trilogy, even though he only did two of them? I, I was going to say that, but um, I'll let's just call it, it the call, reboot. Let's call it the Circus trilogy. Let's call it the all right, Circus trilogy. So I hold the Circus trilogy to no, such no, no, a no, high... No, 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 no. It's now the Franco trilogy. No, right, shut the fuck up. I hold those films up to such a high regard. Like, I have such a great memory of watching those when i was younger um and i just felt like i grew up watching them because I, I didn't see the first one in the cinema i saw it just as it came out to dvd he was on the isle of Wight um, yeah with um kieran when that came out and um, mm. we bought dad not to do one was like, let's go see it I was like oh pretty fucking good actually yeah yeah um and then i went to, so I, I actually watched that with my mum and then when the second one came out dawn uh, me and my mum just booked the tickets for that film like right away. It was like we're seeing that, and we both loved I, it. I, and then, I saw Dawn in theaters as well. I'll... Yeah, and then War. When I saw when when I went to go see War again, I saw that with my mum because it was just like it was just such a great set of movies that me and my mum really really enjoyed together. Um, Will your mum be again... coming with us next week? No. Um, so yeah, that's the one. You know, that's the only thing. I'm I'm just worried about, but other than that, I think we're in for a great month. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, if you could, if you could only go see one of these films, which one Ooh, would you go see? Great question. Okay, let's say this: you'll still see the others, but let's say they get delayed to, to the end of the year. If I yeah. had to see one, 
this month. Mm-hmm. Um, going and the others, the others will come out at the end of the year or next beginning of the next year or this time next year. And mm-hmm. just don't see them this month, right? Hard question, but I think for me, because it has been nearly ten years since Fury Road, I would want I want to see Furiosa, so I can I, get back in that world. I I'm I think I'd be the same. It's just with Planet of the Apes, it's kind of like I want it to be out because if it's bad, then it's out of the way, and I've got a great lineup of yeah. Fall Guy and Furiosa to come out and I can just really look forward to them whereas but you know who knows this film could be the best one out of out of the bunch um, it could be the film of the year for all yeah. we know but um, yeah yeah no, wait. Oh, Kyle in there with the hard hitting questions it's like a investigative journalist just don't look at my search history anyway that will do us for today Yep, that's my keyboard breaking knee. Breaking all the keyboards with this knee. Just this absolute leg. Anyway, that'll do us for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We've been Movies and Beyond. Give us a little kiss. Um, Kyle? Ah. Hell yeah. (laughs) Anything you want to add, Kyle, before we go? Uh, you need to start doing word was, of the day. There was one thing actually. There was one thing that I didn't want to speak about, but it, it's it's just shot on my head. Um, it's just shot out your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, yeah. Did you use all your brain power on that question? Yeah. Oh, expect an hour of the theater reaction to Fall Guy because it's it's the day it comes out. So yeah, we'll, we'll be doing that. Yes. I've kind of missed doing those. They're quite fun. Yeah. Just standing outside. Of I, want to stand, I want to stand outside and just, like, ask random people stuff. I don't know if I'd have the confidence to do that. I think you could have the confidence. I think if you had, like, some sort of, like, if you had, like, one of these mics. If, um, yeah, if I had, it, like, proper equipment, if I just went on a phone, if I had, like, someone there with, like, a proper camera and I had a proper yeah. mic, then you don't even have to get people to come up to you, but, you know, go to I'll people, people come up to you. I, I'll be honest though, I think it's probably best that I be the presenter, just you're quite intimidating looking. What do you mean? I'm not because you, you tower over everyone. <laughs> no, I'm done. Yeah. You make it you sound do. like I'm a fucking when you're, ti- when you're tired, you're like you want to fight everyone. So <laughs> um, Listen, 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 listen. Unless unless you wear a big Marvel t shirt, then yep. you know, people are like, Oh, this guy's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not intimidated, I always say. I'm 6'1 and full of cum. Anyway, that'll do us for today. Thanks for watching, uh, guys. Did you have fun in cinema? Yeah. Leave a like down below. Let us know about all the crazy cunts in your theatres when they're on the phones. Uh, first person to send us a video of them dunking a bucket of popcorn over the head of someone on a phone in the cinema. Um, we'll give you Kyle's uh, house keys. No, we, yep. we are not. Yep. No. It's either that or your mum, mate, so choose one. So I mean aggressive. Uh, so and if they've got your house keys, they've already got your mum. <laughs> so oh, yeah. dear. It's, it's, I'm not saying that in a rude way, it's just Kyle's mum finds it hard to say no to cock. Anyway, see you later. <laughs>